So some people have asked me to do more technical videos. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do injector data into HP tuners. The process is the same regardless of if it's Gen 3 or Gen 4. There's some minor variances that are different, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the basics. Any injector data for good injectors, it's gonna be on their website. So chances are, if you can't find data for your injectors, they're probably not great injectors. So I would avoid using those. Things like Fuel Injector Clinic and uh, Injector Dynamics, all their data is already on their website. It's plug and play. So this video is gonna go over how to do Fuel Injector Clinic 540cc injectors on an LS3. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the website for the brand injectors you have. If they don't have data on their website, chances are you probably don't want to use those injectors with a stock computer. Once you download your data, then you're going to want to go and open your tune-up to get started. Here you're going to see how the tables look. And you see this one starts at 128, 148, and ends at 768, and they all end in 8. This is going to matter in a minute. When you go to the injector data, you can see it has E38, the P12, the early E38, the E40, the another early E38, P04 on this one. So basically, like I said, that's gonna matter here. So this is where you compare your tune to the injector data to get the right data for the right table. So here you can see all the tables have like different values and stuff. This is where you need to compare the injector data with your tune. You don't want to load the wrong data in or you know bad things can happen. Once you find the table that matches the rows and columns you need uh, based off of your tune, you go ahead and copy it and then paste it into your tune like I do right here. Here we're going to change your short pulse limit for the injectors. If your data has the short pulse limit, go ahead and change it. Sometimes the data won't have it, so if it doesn't, just leave it stock. Right here I'll post a screenshot of a Holly injector data table versus HP tuner so you can see the difference. It depends on what injectors you have, but sometimes you know it's up to like five or six tables on a stock computer to change or a Holly it might be one or two things you need to change. 